Welcome to the Florida Courts eFiling Portal. Let's take a look at setting preferences within the portal. When you log into the portal, if you go to the My Account tab and select My Profile, you will have access to setting up your preferences within the portal. Your user details contain your primary and alternate email addresses that you can be used that can be used for service as well as your physical address and your phone number. To make any changes, simply change the information and click on update. To change your password, type in your current password, type in a new password and then re-enter that password and click on Change. Payment Accounts. This will list all of your saved credit cards and your saved ACH accounts. To delete them from the portal and not use them or have them available to be used at a later date, click on the red X underneath the Delete All column. Whatever you delete will be removed from the portal and will not be listed in your saved accounts drop-down on the Payments tab. These are your ACH accounts down here. To add a new credit card or a new ACH account, you would do so during the filing process when a fee payment is required. You would simply add the new credit card or ACH account information and then make sure you check Save to be used again. The next tab are your Preferences. You can set the home page so when you log into the portal, the portal automatically defaults to whatever home page you have selected. That will happen unless you have an alert pending. If you have an alert, and an alert means that you have had a submission moved to the correction queue, you would have a bounce back email on a service list, then it will be taken immediately to your alerts page so that you can be aware of any problem that may be perceived in the portal. And you can fix those problems eliminate your alerts, and then the next time you log in, you'll be taken to your home page. You can also choose a filing path. So if you file a pleading on existing case primarily, you can choose that as your home page. The last jurisdiction filed to will default to whatever jurisdiction you last filed to. The rows per page on the document grid is exactly that. You can choose to show up to 20 rows of documents on the selection grid when you're adding a document to your submission, or you can show as few as three. You simply make the choice. If you have a new case, if you file new cases constantly, and it's the same case type, you can create a new case filing path as a preference. And then once you set that as a preference, that information would be listed here. To change it, you would simply clear that out. You also can set up your email notification or your email preferences. If you do not wish to receive any one of these five emails, you simply deselect what applies and click on Update, and it will update your preferences. Of course, you can always go back in and add that email notification or make any changes as required. Finally, we have your e-service favorites. When you add to your service lists, if you add people on a routine basis, you can add them to your e-service favorites, and you do that when you go through the filing process. To remove them, you simply deselect or remove the check in the service list, favorites, 
list. And then when you are adding, using your service favorites, the ones you have deselected will not appear in the list. They're not deleted from this list, however, in case you need to add them at a later time. So those are some of the items under My Profile that you as a filer can set up so that the portal will look exactly as you want it to when you log in. To show you what I mean by the new case filing path as a preference, let's go to the e-filing map. We're going to select case initiation, orange, file now. That takes us to Orange County. So we can go ahead and create our new case. We'll choose County Civil. We will select a case type. We will select a subtype. And then we will go down here, complete this information here. Be sure to type in your claim amount. When you tab through, it will add the comma and format that number properly. And then when you get down here to the bottom, if you wish to save this new case filing path as a preference, you make that designation. Now, when we go back to the My Account tab, My Profile, we're going to go to Our Preferences, and you'll see here that that new case filing path was set as a preference so that when you log out of the portal and you log back into the portal, it will automatically take you unless there is an alert pending to the new case initiation filing path with all of the appropriate information at the top filled out, still allowing you to type in any variances during the bottom. And again, to get rid of that as, a, as your default or your page that you log into, go back to your preferences, clear, and establish what you would like as your filing path in the top. You can also set the appellate court as your filing path. So maybe you do pleading on existing case, on the appellate court file side, and you go to the bottom and choose your circuit or your district court of appeal, update, and your preferences have been set. So that's your My Profile tab under My Account available to every filer role within the portal. So feel free to make changes as you see fit.